I'm Anna Maria Chen for Maximo TV, and today we're here on the red carpet for the 10th annual TV Land Awards hosted by Kelly Ripa. Today we're catching up with some of your favorite stars from TV classics like In Living Color, Laverne and Shirley, and Murphy Brown. And let's not forget about musical icons Aretha Franklin, Paula Oates, and the B-52s. How excited are you that In Living Color is coming back? Oh my god, I'm so happy that In Living Color is coming back because I think it went away way too soon. Are we going to see you on In Living Color? Maybe a little cameo? I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> For upcoming Fly Girls, what is your advice? <laughs> upcoming Fly Girls, just have a lot of fun. I mean, we had so much fun when we were dancing on that show, but I, I do remember hurting a lot. <laughs> yeah. I remember a lot of like salt baths, Epsom salt baths, and a lot of pain in my body because we worked really hard to come up with those routines, but they have a great choreographer. They've got Nappy Tabs is doing the choreography for them, so I know that they're going to have a great time and just represent. <laughs> and what current television shows do you think is going to end up on TV Land in the future? What current TV shows are going to, oh, you know, okay, Glee, I think will be on the oh, TV yeah. Land Awards. I'm hoping Dancing with the Stars will be on TV Land Awards because we're kind of fun and old fashioned. Um, I think good Christian, I'll call it GCB. <laughs> Is that new show? I haven't seen oh, it. It's called Good Christian, but with a B. With a B. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> GCB. I, I think, got it. I think that show will be on in the future, too. I don't know. I never thought about that. That's a good question. It's always been a dream of mine to be a fly girl. And I was wondering if you guys give me some tips on what it takes. Ooh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> look, he's got the look. Yeah, he's got the look. Yeah, he's got the look. You got to be fly. And you look fly. So, Fantastic. that is. And what was the casting process like when you were, you know, auditioning and, you know, rehearsing? It was pretty rigorous. The, the rehearsing was a lot. Uh, we would rehearse hours a day and then tape at the end of the week, so it was pretty rigorous. And they're bringing in Living Color back. Are you guys going to come back and, you know? I'm going to watch. Yeah, I'll <laughs> watch. Maybe they'll ask us to come back and, like, say, hey, we'll be there. Yeah. That'll be fun. Of course. Yeah. Maybe choreograph? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very excited about In Living Color coming back, and I know that they're bringing a lot of unknown, you know, comedic actors yeah. to come on. Any advice for the new cast? To take a deep breath, because it's going to be a heck of a ride. That, that's my best uh, advice. That and to, to know what you bring to the show that no one else can bring to the show. And that's kind of my advice for actors in general, that, that they picked you for a reason because you do something that nobody else can do. Remember that. How's it going? It's going great. <laughs> I love the laugh, by the way. Thank you. Well, you know, why don't you marry it? <laughs> now, if they were to do a remake of Pee Wee, mm -hmm. Pee Wee's Playhouse, who would you want to play you and why? Who would play me? Yeah. Well, they're talking to Leo right now. I don't know if that's, you know, premature to be talking about, but that's who I think it's going to be, but I don't know. Johnny's talked to me about it. Brad's talked to me about it. Most of the A-list people are fighting each other to play Pee Wee. I still think I may do it and surprise everybody, but who knows, you know? What current television do you think is going to end up on TV Land in the future? Mm, Jersey Shore, probably for <laughs> sure. I don't know what else, you know? I grew up watching all of your movies. Who did you grow up watching? Oh, gosh, so so many. I mean, I, I grew up as far as movies. I was a big uh, Al Pacino, Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro uh, fan in the early days of um, television. I watched Taxi, Cheers. I'll go way back to, like, Happy Days and MASH. Those are those are shows that I watched growing up when I was, like, a little kid. So. And what is the one role that everybody recognizes you for? Well, Karate Kid, certainly. That's one that I'll, I'll have uh, forever and uh, am privileged for. You know, Johnny and the Outsiders and uh, the character I played in My Cousin Vinny is another one. You know, and... Um, you know, you just you just string them together and hope for hope for a few hits. Do you still have all your wax on, wax off oh, moves? A long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I did Dancing with the Stars. I got to use a few of them there, but right now I'm just uh, you know laying low, letting the young people do that stuff. This is very exciting. The TV Land Awards 10th anniversary uh, and the celebration of such great shows like Laverne and Shirley and One Day at a Time. This is all about fun. What was your favorite TV Land show? Favorite TV Land show? Well, the most current one that I love is probably Happily Divorced with Fran Drescher, who we know and I love, I think is great. Uh, I have to say that I grew up watching Happy Days in Laverne and Shirley, so I'm really <laughs> excited to be here. If they were to do a remake of your show, who would you want to play you and why? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Uh, having a senior moment here. Uh, Stephen Colbert. Good choice. 
I see a resemblance there. He does, he does himself so much better than he would do me, so he doesn't have to. No one can do you better. Thinking back, what was the most, you know, impactful episode that you filmed? You know, you got the script and you were just like, wow, this is really, you know, this is big. I think probably when we revealed that Murphy was pregnant. Yeah. Uh, I mean, most you know. I think a lot of people would say the Dan Quayle thing, but um, uh, for me, the, like the first episode, I, f I forget what year it was, when uh, we're in a uh, drugstore and she's buying a pregnancy test, and I catch her buying a pregnancy test, and she has to tell me that she might be pregnant. That was a pretty impactful moment and kind of a turning point in the show. For me, the most impactful ones were the ones where we got to sort of go undercover, and I, I there was one where Murphy and I dressed up as prostitutes, so that was fun. That's always fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, if they were to do a remake of the show, who would you want to play you and why? Who would I want to play me? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Someone who's who can really be that sort of person, vacuous and bubbly and full of information that nobody else cares about. And beautiful and blonde, of course. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. I think probably the birth of Murphy Brown's baby, which kind of touched off a firestorm of controversy and, and actually, I think, got Bill Clinton elected in, in part, you know, so, I mean, he did a pretty good job of campaigning, but it did um, spark a whole debate in the country about family values, and it, 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 it helped him a lot. And what current television show do you think is going to end up on TV Land in the future? Oh, Modern Family, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. In the comedy realm, yes, absolutely. So I, would... I don't want to bully you into interviewing me, but <laughs> no, I would love to. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, if they did a remake of Laverne and Shirley, yeah. who would you want to play you and why? Well, let's see. Matthew Modine is too old. <laughs> um, hey, you know that kid on on Happy Endings? The kid who plays, uh, yeah, yeah, he'd be good. Well, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you had to choose a current television show that was going to end up on TV Land in the future, which one would you choose? Happy Endings. Happy Endings? Yeah, yeah. it makes me laugh. Favorite show? Yeah, exactly. And uh, I like Modern Family. Um, I like 30 Rock. You know, I'm kind of like America. I mean, I like a lot of those things. Uh, I've been watching Breaking Bad. I don't think that's going to oh be on God, TV. Isn't that, that a great show? So good. Yeah, the Anna Gunn is an amazing actress. Everybody's on the, in the cast is great, but she's really, she knocks your eyes out. She's golf. She's really great. Well, whoever would play me hasn't been born yet. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm patient. I think they'll do a remake of the show maybe in 20 years, and they'll call it something else, but I think it'll be the same. And you have a very talented and beautiful daughter. What is she up to these days? Being talented and beautiful, that takes up most of her time, I think. Do you want to say hi to her? Hi, Natalie. <laughs> Thank you. I know so that she expects me to say hello to her, so, you know, it's just uh, one of those things. Hi, Nat. Okay. I grew up watching you on TV. Who did you oh. grow up watching? Well, and you must have been an infant in arms. <laughs> uh, Gail Storm, My Little Margie, Joan Davis, uh, I Married Joan, uh, Lucille Ball, Vivian Vance, uh, uh, Imogene Coca and Sid Caesar, your show of shows, uh, Jackie Gleason, you know, all, all, and, and uh, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Now, if they were to do a remake of Laverne and Shirley, uh -huh. who would you want to play you and why? Oh, I've said this. Drew Barrymore, although she's blonde, Drew, <laughs> uh, or Tina Fey. Uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler could possibly play Laverne and Shirley. I think that'd be the best shot at it. I would love to know if they did a remake of The Nanny, who would you want to play you and why? Well, if they did a remake of The Nanny, oh, you mean, I don't, you know, I guess I guess, um, I guess maybe uh, Vergara would be good to play yeah. me. <laughs> Since she's already doing such a good job of it. So you recently just joined the cast of the New York Housewives, is that right? Yes, yes, yes I have. We just and finished filming. Has it been a rough ride, you know, mixing with the, the older veteran girls? Had its ups and downs. It had its ups and downs. Anything exciting that we should look forward to in the season? I think you should look forward to a lot of drama, a lot of gossip, and a lot of fun. And I think that this season you're going to get a little bit more depth. You had to choose a current television show that was going to end up on TV Land in the future. What would you choose? If I had to choose a show that would end up on t TV Land in the future? Uh -huh. um, maybe Modern Family is one of my favorites because I, uh, I have four children. And we're a blended family of four. I have children ranging from 10 to 1. And 
and uh, it's mine, yours, ours, and all the rest of it. So probably Modern Family, I think, is amazing and should be on that network. Who was your favorite person to impersonate? Um, probably Michael Jackson. Can I get you in a Michael Jackson impression to say that about wraps it up for the TV Land Awards? That about wraps it up for the TV Land Awards. Icky! <laughs> well, that about wraps it up from the TV Land Awards red carpet. I'm Anna Maria Chen, and you're watching Maximo TV.